So it's pretty official now. Canada has essentially outlawed Christianity. If you are found guilty of performing conversion therapy, five years in prison. If you are found guilty of promoting others utilizing conversion therapy, two years in prison. Now, did you read the law? I read it. It says that if you practice, if you service or treat any of the following conditions, and then it lists like basically stopping people from being cisgender, uh, limiting people's gender identity and gender expression. But it also says if you try to teach someone to repress non-heterosexual activities, yeah, that's tricky, right? That law is so darn vague. So if a heterosexual goes to a preacher for sex addiction, counseling, not conversion therapy, but if a homosexual goes to a preacher and says, hey, I'm convicted by the word of God, I have these desires that I know are not glorifying to God, what can I do to stop? And if the preacher counsels them, treats or practices his faith, encourages that person to abstain or repent, boom, you're guilty of conversion therapy, five years in jail. This is dangerous. Even if you're not a believer, you have to see the danger in this. I am opposed to conversion therapy in the regards if it's done like um, clockwork orange, right? You're foisting your beliefs on someone else and making them change when they're unwilling to do so. But if you have willing participants seeking out help, going to clergy, saying, please, Help me to stop doing this bad thing that I'm convicted is bad. Tough. The person helping you goes to jail if they're convicted. Forcing someone to convert is different than helping someone to convert if they ask for it. So we need to know the difference. You know, clergy has long been responsible for helping to counsel people to change sinful behavior. Not just homosexual behavior, but adulterous behavior, sex outside of marriage behavior, sex addiction, lying, stealing. That's the job of the church, to teach. But the Canadian government has now hamstrung them and essentially outlawed Christianity in all of Canada. Oh, well, you could still be a Christian, but you just can't practice your faith. That's essentially outlawing Christianity. And it's coming to the United States. Pay attention, people.